Hey guys, welcome to my very first video. I'm so excited to launch this channel. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time and to just have a place to pour in my love for Disney and makeup. So today's video is gonna be all about the products that I take with me to Disney. So it's gonna be waterproof, sweatproof, Florida heat proof. Um, these are the products that, that I use when I'm in the parks, um, when I have a long day at Magic Kingdom and, and I need to still look fresh for dinner that night. Um, this is what I wear. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the order of kind of how I do my makeup and we'll kind of go that way. So, and also, yes, we do have our Christmas tree still up and it is the end of January. So the first product that I use is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is gonna really lock in my eyeshadow all day long. So this is that one thing that I cannot go without. Um, even if I'm just doing a really simple eyeshadow look and just putting a little bronzer in the crease or whatever it may be, um, this is just gonna hold it in place all day long. So second, I do my eyeshadow and I currently am loving the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. So this is, I'm just, I'm loving the, the warm tones, the just, I don't know, I'm just really into this right now. So this is what I'm gonna be taking with me to the parks and I think it's one of those palettes where you can do a really bold look, um, you can do a really subtle neutral look during the day, come back to your room, freshen up, add a little bit, you know, a deeper color in the crease and out on the outer V um, and you have a totally different look but you're using the same palette. So I love it, this is what I'm gonna be taking with me to the parks. So next is primer. I am using the Laura Mercier primer. This is the oil-free version. They have several different versions. I think one for like combo skin. Um, this is the one for sensitive skin, um, like a pore refining one, a mattifying one. There's like six or seven different ones, but I love the, the just consistency of this one. I think it really helps my makeup feel like it's really sinking in. Um, so this is one of those where it doesn't overhydrate my skin to where it looks oily throughout the day. It's just that perfect combination of it feels moisturizing, but yet it's oil free. So it really locks in my makeup without that like greasy look. Um, so I love this primer. This is going with me to the parks for sure. So next is what I use for foundation. And this is the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, and I adore this product. This has a, a SPF of 50, so that's probably the number one reason I'm bringing this to the parks with me. Um, any other foundation you can still burn under, and um, this is gonna protect my skin, and it still gives really nice coverage. So even though it's a CC cream, um, don't be turned off by that because a lot of CC creams can be kind of a thinner consistency and just kind of like, I don't know, not do much for you. Um, but this is amazing. It's so full coverage and it's so healthy for your skin. So I have it in the shade Fair and that's the one thing I'm not a huge fan of. They don't have a ton of shade selections, but if you can find one that works for you, this stuff is awesome for the parks. Um, I believe they have an illuminating version as well, but I don't know if I would go for that one in the parks. Um, this is just the regular color correcting um, version without the illumination. So, so this is my go-to product for something that I need that's gonna protect my skin and, and really give me full coverage without feeling like cakey. So for concealer, I am using the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have it in the shade Fair Neutral, and this might be a little bit light for me in the summer. Right now it's great when I'm a little more pale, um, but I love this stuff. It doesn't make you feel like you're adding on a ton of extra product underneath um, your eyes, and because I don't want to feel like my eyes are like, I don't know, weighed down with just you know, layers and layers of foundation and concealer. So this is one of those where it has great coverage, but it doesn't give you that cakey feeling underneath. It just blends out so easy, it's so nice. I love this stuff. So next, to lock it all in, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. This stuff goes with me everywhere. Disney parks, at home, wherever I am, this stuff is awesome. Um, I usually take a damp beauty sponge and kind of stamp it underneath my eyes and my T-zone area and this, and I just kind of let it sit for a little bit. Um, and so I guess you could call it baking, but I don't know if it's a full on like 
baking thing it just I just kind of let it sit for a little bit um, so while I'm letting that sit I go ahead and do my brows and I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil, and I love this. It has a spoolie on the end and the triangular pencil on the other end. So it's super easy when you're kind of in a rush in the morning and you just need, you know, to feel like you're put together without having to spend 20 minutes doing some precise brow look. So I love this stuff. This is a, you know, this is one of those that goes with me in my park bag. So next for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, the waterproof version. Um, so definitely make sure you get the waterproof version um, because this stuff is bomb. I'm telling you, it is gonna make your lashes feel so long, so voluminous, um, but still like, but still making them look natural. I mean, nothing about mascara is natural, but but it's it's amazing. So definitely get the waterproof version though, because um, I know the just the regular carbon black. If you go on a water ride and you know it gets kind of splashed up on your face, um, I have had you know mascara running down my face, and it's just not a pretty look. So so definitely go for the waterproof version. Um, this stuff is awesome though. I this is like one of those staple mascaras that's always with me in my bag. So next for bronzer, one of the most amazing, natural looking, sun-kissed, like, I don't even know, this stuff is awesome, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is so creamy, so buttery, it just glides right on your skin, and I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. Like, you can't mess up with this product. Um, it's one of those where I can just swirl a fluffy brush in it and put it all over, and it still looks good. Um, I don't have to do any precise contouring or anything like that. Um, it just looks so natural, and I, I love this stuff. So next for blush, I am using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Mood Exposure. And it's a really pretty shade um, that's super natural. Um, they have, their shade selection is just gorgeous, but this is my favorite. Um, I love this stuff right now. It is definitely going with me to the parks um, when I start packing. And it's just one of those products that's gonna stay on all day long and it's super natural. I can go, again, just like the bronzer, I can go in with a brush and just kind of like put this on in the dark and walk out and it looks great. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how, like, it's just so good. And it's not shimmery, it's not glittery. It just looks so natural. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but I just think it looks so natural for, you know, in the parks, but then it still looks really nice um, if you need to touch up for dinner later that night. So definitely go for the Hourglass blushes. They are awesome. So last but not least, to lock it all in is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Um, this stuff is awesome. If you haven't tried it, um, it's definitely worth the money and I would definitely go for it. It's it's one of those things where I can spray this on at 7 a.m. and and then you know I'm we're coming back from fireworks and somehow my makeup stayed all day long. And I promise you it is this all-nighter spray. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it's seriously magic in a bottle. It is gonna make your makeup look so good at the end of the day, like so fresh. So definitely go for this stuff, it's awesome. So that is it for my Disney sweat proof, long lasting, heat proof makeup product list. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this video, but, um, but those are the products that I use when I'm getting ready to go to the parks and they stay all day. Um, they, I just, they're like my, these are my ride or die products. So if I end up doing a video on holy grail products or something like that, you're gonna see a lot of these. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed kind of learning a little bit more about the products that I use when I go to the parks. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Bye.